mummy says hello. My wife's mum's an old sucksist. The eternal fire Ooh. will guide us. What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. And a lion made some interesting friends. Footprints. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Letter and the bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions or series. 1245 to 1254. Hmm. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Instructions on how to build a bomb, signed by one Kalkstein. Sugar, and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. 
The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stopped by to see if everything was all right. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So, I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Hankel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt. How can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel. But Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though, to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? 
But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm hmm Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. Well, I'm here. Listen, take a look at the building, and it does not look good. Maybe you should be the ancient sparkle. I mean, it's a damn fortress. Hard walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in and fight him. No way, would work. Manga would have had plenty of time to say. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Look on me. This might come as a surprise to you, but tackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Ring the hunters the file trist miracle. They won't just open a gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Manga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Seriously, too. No such thing as too risky. What about the treasure? 
If we learn anything, great. If not, thought you'd coins and gauge to go be the mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Wait. Oh, thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Still got a better thing than others. A tough. Let's go. Here, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. I heard a bit, but... Siri. She's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. Alright. Mm, Alright. What do you want? Here for my reward. Your fool. Fool, bitch. The nice who I got. It's Tres Marigold. Marigold. Come in. Man. Well, well. Tris Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches... They murder kings. Scheme. Start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. You're done guessing, Miracle. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your cock, Ginger! You spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'm only talking to Menda. Well, you don't talk to lie you. But then you be sure to tell him I came by, with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come in, but be sure to stay right close. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. A 
I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can claim that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Now, nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Dying. A 1261 vintage, year of the massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went to hell! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squealed so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Still haven't paid me for the witch, yet your hunters are already torturing her. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This little piggy had roast beef. Oh, you bastard! No! This little piggy had no! Don't worry, you shan't leave empty-handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. Think I just changed my mind. Let her go. Didn't take much to get you to break. God! In here!
I think that's all of them. That was close. What happened? I thought Menga took the bait. No, he didn't. Sent straight off it was your fault. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes. Secret signals. Yeah. Strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, ah, my... Keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for a here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate.
This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later, later. when you have a moment. I appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm hmm. Not about to use the teleport, though. See you, Trace. Mr. Roven was away. Impatient old bastard. Uh. Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why is Geralt of Rivia? <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. As soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see any more. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault found in Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me. But you didn't dare to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever.